The liberal media not holding back from making Kim Jong-un's sister their shining star at the Olympics. But a key point missing from their coverage, the fact her family holds one of the worst human, right record, human rights records in the world. Here to break it down, retired CIA station chief and VP at SPG, Daniel Hoffman. Daniel, you know about the nature of this regime. So when you hear the fawning coverage from the so-called mainstream media, uh, how disconnected is it from the reality of what folks live with in North Korea? Well, I don't know that uh, Kim Jong-un could have written anything better himself. It's worth remembering that his sister uh, has been the director of propaganda and agitation department since July of 2015, and just a few months back was elevated to a more prominent position in the North Korean Politburo, right around the time that our sanctions were really starting to sting uh, the North Korean government. So there's no question that Kim Jong-un knows his sister's a really good face for the regime uh, and a means for him to try to drive a wedge between the United States and South Korea. We saw three hours of, of negotiation already mm -hmm. between South Korean and North Korean representatives. There was no discussion of scrapping the North Korean nuclear program, which has been our policy, but rather the South Koreans were saying that we need to, uh, saying to the North Koreans that they should pursue talks with the United States. Um, South Korea is not a monolith, it's a democracy. The, while the opposition in mm -hmm. South Korea favors scrapping the nuclear, uh, South North Korea's nuclear uh, capability Absolutely. and denuclearizing the, 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 the peninsula, uh, President Moon is, is a strong proponent of the so-called sunshine policy. And again, South, North Korea is seeking to take advantage of that. And, and look, you know, Kim Jong-un's found the right person to do it. Absolutely. He's found the right media to do it as well. So if his sister is the head of propaganda, I would presume she doesn't talk that much about the fact that there are between 80 and 120,000 people imprisoned for political, in political prison camps in North Korea. Yeah, I think you'd, you'd like to see someone uh, hold her to some tough questions about that, about the humanitarian catastrophe that is North Korea or uh, the danger that North Korea poses to its own region and beyond by pursuing this nuclear weapons program and ICBMs. Mm -hmm. I mean, she does have a position of quite significant authority in the government, and you'd like to see them hold her to answer some hard questions, aside from being just a, a mantelpiece. Well, of course, she keeps that position because she's fawning to her brother, because if she cuts the other way, he'll kill her, as we know otherwise. I mean, this is the nature of that regime. Uh, how unhelpful is it to a resolution on that peninsula, preventing nuclear weapons that can be delivered to our shores? How unhelpful is fawning over them or promoting peace talks that really just delay the timeline? Well, I think the onus is on the, us, the United States, just to hold North Korea accountable for their humanitarian catastrophe and for the danger of the nuclear weapons program that they continue to pursue with reckless abandonment. But I, and I also think that it's clear that, that North Korea is trying to drive a wedge among the different actors yes. uh, involved us in South Korea. And so we need to pull in South Korea closer and highlight the, 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 the necessity, really, of having a cohesive strategy together, which does involve continued maximum diplomatic and economic yeah. pressure on, on North Korea. Daniel, yeah, we see them fl uh, the North and South Korea walking under a unified flag. Is there any scenario where Kim Jong-un in the North unifies the peninsula peacefully? I mean, they want it under their rule. Yeah, I don't, I don't see that. I think that's why he's pursuing his nuclear weapons program. Yeah. And beyond that, he knows he has a degree of deterrence. We haven't attacked uh, North Korea cognizant of the massive um, potential for, for damage to, to the region from just North Korea's conventional weapons. I think he's pursuing the nuclear weapons uh, and the ICBM capabilities so that he can maybe himself seek to unify the peninsula under his own, under his own and, terms. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's the benefit of having the nuclear weapons is that the United States, in his mind, might not take action. Yep. It's a huge uh, card they can drop on the table. Daniel right. Hoffman, thank you for your expertise. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you.